Okay, well, so thanks for joining us. Um, I'm Linda Babcock. I'm a faculty member at Carnegie Mellon and one of the program directors um, along with me um, is uh, Jeff Gallick, uh, also from Carnegie Mellon. Um, just to go through a couple of the logistics of the program. So really the, the whole goal is to teach participants the field of behavioral economics and be behavioral science so that they can leverage this knowledge to make changes in their organizations. For example, to strengthen the brand, uh, engage consumers. Uh, there's a lot of work in behavioral economics done to enhance the uh, productivity of the workforce and the engagement of people in the workforce, and really just to improve organizational decision-making. Uh, the program runs on Thursday the 21st, starting at two o'clock. Uh, we'll begin at that point. Um, and I'll go through the day-to-day the, the -day in just a minute. And the program runs Thursday afternoon, all day Friday, and then half day until 12.30 on Saturday. And the program will be taking place at the lovely Tepper Executive Education Classroom that's on the Carnegie Mellon campus in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And we're excited to be doing this in person. Yay! <laughs> Uh, so Thursday, we're going to do an introduction to the program, what the goals of the program are, and we'll start with our first session on the principles of behavioral science, and that will last most of the afternoon, and then we'll, we'll have a group dinner after that. On Friday, we'll begin the morning with um, introduction to behavioral economics. Uh, we'll talk about some of the cutting edge issues in behavioral economics, what's going on that's new in the field that can be applied to your organization right now. Um, we're gonna have a marketing segment, which is uh, taught by Jeff, um, the decision science of consumer um, and consumer behavior. And then we'll have some application sessions to how this works turns out in organizations with the decision science and organizational setting. Um, part of the, the curriculum is gonna be a final project that we'll talk about more in a minute. And so on Friday afternoon, we'll do a deeper dive into what's expected for the final project. There'll be a reception on Friday evening with some networking and, and cocktails. And then Saturday, we will spend the whole morning doing individual project, project presentations, having you know, participants get up, present their project and getting feedback from, from the class. Uh, depending on the size of the program, we'll likely do this in small groups uh, so that it's a very intimate uh, setting for getting feedback. Uh, the faculty, we have a rock star faculty uh, for the program. As I said, Jeff and I are the directors, um, but we have a team of uh, world-renowned behavioral scientists and behavioral economists um, uh, that are going to be teaching in the program. And I think what's really unique about our program uh, that's different than most other programs in the behavioral science space is that we have a the world's largest concentration of behavioral scientists and behavioral economists right here at Carnegie Mellon. And we're bringing you the best of the best uh, to uh, work with you uh, in this executive education training. So we have some questions that we prepared and, and some answers. Jeff, do you want to maybe kind of ask some questions that uh, that that we that you may have, participants may have yeah. thought? Uh, absolutely. So uh, Linda, could you take a moment to talk about what type of participants have attended this program in the past? Uh, yeah, absolutely. So it, we've run this program before, had a, a very uh, excellent ratings from the participants, and it was really a wide variety of, of participants. In terms of industry, we had students from tech, uh, from education, from government, from nonprofit, uh, let's see, uh, healthcare, um, finance. So they come from a wide variety of, of industries. And also in terms of the positions that people had in industry, we had people from HR, from operations, leadership, uh, marketing, sales. Um, and so we had a, a wide variety because the content of this course is really applicable to so many divisions within organizations. Uh, thanks, Linda. And in terms of the day-to-day, -day, can you say a little bit more about that? Is it more lecture-heavy? Is it more interactive? How does that unfold? Well, there are, it's lecture components with cases and interactive exercises. And of course, the project, um, maybe you want to say something about the project, Jeff, that, that we're going to be doing. The project is extremely interactive. Absolutely. So uh, the project is, is the culmination of the two and a half days of work that we're going to be doing together with the students. And the idea is that every participant 
will bring a problem that they're having at their organization that they think behavioral science might be able speak to speak to um, with them. And Linda and I will help curate those, those issues in advance of the session. So we'd ask participants to submit uh, some proposals for problems that they're facing, uh, and we'll help massage those into something that's workable. Uh, and then at the end of the program on that Friday morning, we'll have groups get together and actually work together to understand the principles that were discussed in the previous days and how they can directly be applied to the specifics of the problem that the individual is facing uh, in their own organization. Um, there's a bit more detail to it than that, but I think we'll save that uh, as a fun reveal for our participants on, on Saturday morning. Um, uh, but the goal really is to make this both uh, theoretical in the sense that you learn new concepts and new ideas, but also incredibly applied. We want to be, we want to have students and participants take the ideas that they've learned and immediately apply them to issues that they're facing uh, to hopefully benefit their organizational goals. And in the last time we ran this program, I think the projects were really successful. Students really uh, dug into an organizational problem, really throughout the time that they were um, in sessions you know, kept refining the organizational problem and possible solutions. And then faculty gave them a lot of feedback as well as this feedback from the class. So I think they really got a lot out of making progress towards solving a, a real problem using the tools. Yeah. And maybe one thing that's worth also clarifying, um, one thing that you said earlier, Linda, is, and what I said, I think as well, is that it's not just participants working together. Of course, the faculty will be there hands-on supporting all the students and all the participants uh, to be as successful as possible. Great. And uh, what are the things do people need to do in advance of the program? Yeah, so we have an FAQ up on the website. So certainly uh, some logistical things need to get done, like booking you know, your flights and your hotels and understanding all of that. That's the easy part. Uh, but the most important is what I just mentioned previously, which is thinking about the type of issue you want to see addressed with the behavioral concepts that you're going to learn. So um, again, we will work with you. So Linda and I will actively work with all participants to make sure that the problem they bring to the program uh, is appropriate in terms of scope, where right? it can't be too big, it shouldn't be too small, um, and, and really refine that to be something that uh, will lead students to have success. Uh, so that's really the paramount piece. In the FAQ, we have a couple of suggested readings if you're interested in kind of brushing up on some of the basics of behavioral science, but those are not mandatory. That's just if you have the luxury uh, to, to spend some time on. And maybe Linda, I'll, I'll throw a question right back at you, is, is what do you think makes this program so special? I think there are a couple of things. Like I said before, we have the world's greatest concentration of behavioral economists and, and behavioral scientists. Um, and not only that, but our faculty have for decades really worked with some of the lo world's largest corporations on consulting problems. And so they're really used to getting their hands dirty, to get, getting in there, working with companies, solving problems and applying this science. So uh, we're, we're not only have a, a great bench depth in behavioral economics and behavioral science, but really we are really the most applied group who have experience working with organizations and solving real problems. I'd say that that's one of the real distinctive points I'd say also the project is, a, is a, a differentiator, is that participants will really be able to make progress on solving a problem that they have, getting great inputs and refinements from faculty and really working with them over the course of the, the program to do that. I mean, one thing maybe to add to the, the faculty piece as well is, is the interdisciplinary nature of the work that's being done here. Uh, so the faculty you'll notice if, if you dig in a little bit is we're not all economists, we're not all psychologists, we're not all policymakers, we're actually some hybrid of all of those things. So uh, Linda's an economist, I'm a marketing professor uh, who studies consumer psychology, Taya Cohen uh, is a uh, organizational behavior and theory professor who studies organizational psychology, uh, George Lonestein of course is an economist, uh, and so we really run the gamut of, of different expertise and specialties, so you're getting a, a very broad sense of what behavioral science and behavioral economics can do across a variety of disciplines. Great. Well, I think that's uh, the end of our prepared talk.